among the temperate rainforest of British Columbia, deep in the suburb of Fort Langley, a single elementary school resides. While this school stands unique among a number of schools in the Lower Mainland, there is a rare species of elementary educator who participate and lead a faction of children in what is commonly known as outdoor education. Three days a week, you will not find the educators with their students here in their classrooms. Although the classes have a certain appeal, as they are finely furnished with four walls, decorative wallpaper, lavish desks, and chairs, you are in fact more likely to find them outdoors, in the forests and parks of Langley. Here, in one of the Metro Vancouver parks in Langley, it is possible to get a rare glimpse of some of the outdoor educators in their natural habitat. Our expert team of filmmakers struck gold to find representatives of Division 12 through 15 of the Langley Environmental Awareness Program, also known as LEAP. This educator is responsible for leading the youngsters in the kindergarten classroom. Although this may seem like a huge undertaking for some, she navigates it with poise and grace. When our team asked her what's her favorite ice cream flavor, she replied with blackberry. Next up, we have Miss Harder. She is one of the most daring educators of the bunch. She can manage the group of great ones with excellent modeling of bravery and taking the path less traveled. With a flash and a dash, she tediously pulls her wagon with supplies to ensure that her students are well prepared for almost any teachable moment. If you are lucky enough to encounter her, she is always eager to challenge you to a speed walking competition. Venturing further into the park, we were thrilled with our sighting of Ms. Talion. As the smallest member of the outdoor teacher species, Miss Talion relies heavily on exaggerated arm gestures and high-pitched calls to attract the attention of grade twos and threes. The best way to approach this teacher with hot coffee and a warm smile. Now here, we see a truly remarkable natural phenomenon, symbiosis. Much like the remora and the shark, or the oxpecker and the hippo, the leap teachers and their assistants could not survive without each other. Ms. Young and Mrs. Risky provide support and safety, but they must always stay near as well. For without the frenzy of noise and activity of the leap program, they would surely become disoriented and lost in the wild. We spotted the most recent addition to the outdoor educators, Mr. Nolson. His tall adult frame and scruffy beard helps him keep the grade four and five students on task while they complete their intermediate grade work and exploration of the forest. Although he may appear content on the outside, he is pretty much always hungry and needs to stop for regular food breaks. This concludes this episode of Meet the Creature. Until next time, keep your eyes peeled when you are out in the forest. You never know what or who you might see.